Good morning. It's my honor to present my three charts about clinical and paraclinical characteristics of sleep apnea syndrome in stroke patients under supervision of PhD Võ Hồng Khôi and Associated Professor Vũ Văn Giác. My presentation concludes five-part introduction, literature review, subject and methodology, results and discussion, conclusion and recommendation. Um, stroke and sleep apnea syndrome are both common uh, associated with significant morbidity and mortality. The role of sleep disorder in stroke outcome and recurrent stroke has become a pressing question. The hemodynamic metabolism and hematologic change during sleep-related breathing disorder in the form of decreased cerebral and perfusion and increased coagulability are possible pathogenetic mechanisms for stroke. Furthermore, stroke patients with sleep apnea syndrome uh, seem to be more prone to early neurologic worsening, longer hospital stays, and worse cognitive and functional recovery compared to stroke patients without sleep apnea syndrome. So therefore, we decided to conduct this study, clinical and paraclinical characteristics of sleep apnea syndrome in stroke patients with two specific objectives, to investigate some clinical and paraclinical characteristics of sleep apnea syndrome in stroke patients, uh, to analyze respiratory polygraphy results in those patients. Sleep apnea and hyponea are different versions of the same sleep disorder. An apnea is the complete blockage of air, while hyponea is the partial blockage of air. Many times they occur together. Central sleep apnea is when your breathing is disrupted because uh, of a disrupted respiratory effort, and obstructive sleep apnea when your breathing disrupted uh, because of a blocked or narrowed airway. This is a pathology of uh, sleep, uh, obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. I will uh, slip to this slide to move quickly. Um, and next to the subject and methodology. Uh, subject research is our research subject are uh, ischemic cerebral stroke patient over 18 years old, diagnosed with sleep apnea syndrome, uh, treated at Back My Hospital from July 2021 to October 2022. Inclusion criteria patient selected into the study met the criteria of ischemic cerebral stroke, including clinical and subclinical symptoms. Clinical criteria for diagnosis of cerebral strokes according to the definition of World Health Organization 1988. Cerebral stroke is a rapid development of size and of neurological dysfunction of the brain, focal or general, lasting more than 24 hours or leading to death with no known cause other than vascular etiology. Paraclinical criteria computer tomography or magnetic resonance imaging with cerebral infection. Ischemic stroke patients who meet the following two criteria will be selected for the study. Mild to moderate stroke severe with NIST score uh, under 15 points. Diagnosed with sleep apnea syndrome according to American Academy of Sleep Medicine criteria and patient over 18 years of 18 years old and agree to participate in this study. Exclusion criteria includes patients with chronic or acute medical conditions that do not allow respiratory polygraphy and polystomography treatment. Patients with uncooperative psychosis, patients do not agree to participate. This research uh, conducted at by my hospital with methodology is proprietive cross-sectional descriptive study and convenience sampling with uh, 38 patients. This is a, a photograph of how I collect my data. 
the patient with stroke were diagnosed by who criteria, and uh, some we do some medical history, family history, clinical symptoms, uh, and some, uh, anthropometry index, Vietnamese stop bank questionnaire. So we uh, uh, we think uh, we suppose that the patient maybe have uh, sleep apnea syndrome will be uh, a candidate for polysomography or respiratory polygraph. Uh, so confirm sleep apnea syndrome. Well, I will collect data to make the research, to do the research. Yeah, patient A2, uh, patient A from uh, 61 to 70 had a highest rate accounting for 42.1% of the total number of patients studied. The lowest age were encountered in the study were 24 and the highest were 88. In our study, the number of male patients with sleep apnea syndrome is 8.5 uh, times higher than the number of female patients. In addition, the female patients are in monopause age. Of the uh, 38, uh, 38 stroke patients included in the study, there were 34 patients with obstructive sleep apnea syndrome and four patients with central sleep apnea syndrome. Can you stop breathing in one patient with moderate stroke? In our study, average BMI of the patient was 26.65 uh, uh, in which 63.1% of patients had BMI above 25. And there were no difference in body mass index, weight, circumference, height, and weight between the two genders in the study. However, there is a statistically significant difference in the neck circumference between the two genders, with p-value is 0.02. Hypertension is the most common comorbidity in our study, accounting for 78.9% of the study group. Other studies in Vietnam record the prevalence of hypertension in the group patient with obstructive, form, uh, obstructive apnea syndrome from 35 to uh, 50%. In this study, we record uh, uh, that the patient with snoring habit noted the patient themselves or their relatively with 89.5% uh, patient. Uh, in our study, 28.9% uh, of patients has observed apnea. Snoring is a chronic symptom occurring most days of the week, may be accompanied by other evidence. Uh, evidence suggests sleep apnea syndrome. At the same time, it affects the daily activities, sleep quality, and quality of life of the patient and their relative. This is also the main reason why patients go to the doctor. Daytime sleepiness is a common symptom of sleep apnea syndrome. However, this symptom is easy to ignore because it often has a silent onset and become chronic Patients in our study were asked to complete average sleep, sleepiness scale. The result of our study show that 65.8% uh, of patients complain of excessive daytime sleepiness with average um, above 10. Another community-based study estimate that uh, 8 to 30 of the population has symptoms of excessive daytime sleepiness, depending on the population study. Amongst, uh, uh, in our study, grade three malapity was the most common symptom, accounting for 50%. No patient had grade uh, malapity one. In our study, uh, 20 patients with moderate stroke witness score above five, accounting for more than 50%. There was uh, 18 patients with my stroke. The severity 
uh, we found that the severity of degree of stroke were not associated with the severity degree of sleep apnea syndrome. And this is quite uh, familiar with other study. This observation supports the hypothesis that sleep apnea syndrome often precedes stroke. Uh, the high frequency of sleep apnea, for the high frequency of sleep apnea in TIA patient further support this hypothesis. Low HDLC and elevated triglycerides were the most common lipoprotein disorder, and the mechanism of this lipidemia in the patient with sleep apnea syndrome is due to chronic hypoxia during sleep, leading to disturbance in the synthesis of lipoprotein producing enzymes in the liver. Sorry, I suggest you to go to the conclusion. Yes, well, time out. Yes. Uh, I will go to the conclusion that a study. Um, a study of uh, 38 cerebral stroke patients with sleep apnea syndrome treated at Bekmai Hospital from July 2021 to October 2022 of 50, uh, 34 male patients and uh, 4 female patients. Uh, we draw some conclusion. Uh, 11 patients with my SAS, 10 patients with moderate SAS, uh, 80 patients, um, uh, 70 patients with severe SAS. Uh, among those patients with uh, 34 patients with OSA and 4 patients with CSA. And Chinese stop breathing in one patient with moderate stroke. And hypertension is the most common disease. Uh, there was 26 obese patients and uh, 12 patients with a neck curve circumference above 40 per centimeter. Snoring, the most com snoring is the most common symptom in sleep apnea syndrome and stroke patients. And I said this, no. Red tree malapathy is the most common symptom. And uh, this degree, HDLC and increase triglycerides are the most common lipoprotein disorder. In our patient, uh, patient with the, uh, the one, especially one patient with uh, SpO2 at uh, uh, third, um, 51 per, um, percent. My recommendation is a relationship between the severity of apnea syndrome and stroke severity is quite controversial. Further study needed on the issue and program for management of patient with stroke and sleep apnea is needed to optimize access to diagnose and treatment for this patient. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thanks for your listening. Thank you, Dr. Zhang, for your effort to speak English quite well. I have one question for clarification. In the title of the study, uh, the title of the study has a component on risk factors for OSA syndrome among stroke patients. Is that right? Uh, I'm sorry, I, um, my, title, my, my title presentation is not matched with the title on uh, uh, when, when I uh, design. Uh, <coughs> okay, yeah. that's understandable. Okay. Then the next question is, I'm quite uncomfortable <laughs> seeing seeing the comparison between different groups, why each group has very small sample size. Few patients in each group, and then you compare and you uh, calculate p-value. What's the reason for such comparison? Because the purpose of this study is to describe clinical and paraclinical characteristics of the patient. Can you clarify why? Uh, so this is my limitation of my study. That uh, my uh, my study uh, my study is progressive cross-sectional descriptive patient and with a uh, quite small sample. So uh, I suppose that when we uh, collect data and uh, it's the and it's, it is lower the um, the accurate of uh, my. My 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 uh, my result. Yeah. Okay, thank you.